everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm not sure why but I'm in such a good mood today. Perhaps it's because I just got off the phone to my stepmom and we were just laughing and it just put me in a good mood. But those of you that follow me on Snapchat will have seen that recently I ruined my favourite dress. I am just such an idiot. I don't know what I was thinking but I started ironing a faux suede dress. Needless to say it didn't end well and I've now got a massive burn mark right on my thigh. It's so annoying. <laughs> The dress is completely sold out everywhere so I've had a bit of a nightmare, I wanted to get the same one because I wear it so much and I found myself just wearing the same outfit every single day. That Club Monaco jumpsuit is just like my go-to thing to wear at the moment, I just feel so nice when I wear it but I realised that it was getting a bit ridiculous. But that cost per wear, that cost per wear. <laughs> I was on the King's Road yesterday and I thought I'd just pop into Club Monaco and see if they had anything new and I ended up spending a small fortune. So much more than I expected to spend but I got some items that I am so excited to wear. So excited in fact that I'm wearing one of them now. This is another jumpsuit that I got and I cannot wait for you to see this. I love this so much. And I thought about doing just a mini haul but then I realised that I'd bought another four items from another store so I thought I could combine the two and do a real sort of autumnal haul because this stuff is literally like autumn in a haul so yeah I thought I would put this together and show you what I got. So obviously I've worn that other Club Monaco jumpsuit to death so when I saw that they did a pinafore dress version literally exactly the same but just a dress I thought It'd be silly not to, you've got the wear out of the other one so I'm sure you'll get the wear out of this one as well. I got this in the Club Monaco size which is 00, zero and I believe that that's like a 4 or a 6. I think that that must be American sizes. No, is that American size? I don't know. Double zero? That seems weird. I don't know whether that's a 4 or 6. I will find out and I will pop it in the description. In fact, no, I'm going to look on my phone now. What is that size? Okay, so it doesn't actually give a relative size, but 00, zero equates to denim size 25. So I think that that is a 4. I think. That's the best I'm going to do. That's really, really strange when it comes to sizing. I don't understand that at all. But it says extra small, 00, zero denim size 25 so I'm gonna go with that's a four or maybe it is a six. Oh, I give up anyway it's really small <laughs> I bought this for 225 pounds it's sort of just above the knee so it's great for day wear this was what I was looking for in this haul I really wanted items that I could wear throughout the day and feel very sort of well put together I love the fabric of this as I found with the other jumpsuit so um, I know that it'll keep me warm it's great for layering over things and it's also very flattering because it's tighter around here and then looser down to your hips so let's have a look at what the first item looks like I am such a creature of habit. When I find something that I like, I buy it in every colour, in every style possible, and I guess I've done it again. I really love the fabric of it. It's very warm, it's very autumnal, and the style of it is very, very nice to just layer up over your clothes, layer up over your knitwear, over your shirts, and just easy to throw on. These are the items I get so excited to wear when I go down to London for meetings. It's basically why I have meetings because then I get to wear my clothes so I always book in at least one day a week to go for meetings so that I get to parade around in my new clothes otherwise I'm just at home in my sweatpants I've teamed it with this bulgari bag I can't get used to it um just because I find that this is going with a lot of my wardrobe at the moment it's quite an autumnal bag and it's very very practical for me when I'm down in London because I can just have it crossbody, it's there in front of me, I know where everything is. I have also put my Chloe boots with it because they seem to be going with everything in this haul, I don't know why. All of a sudden my wardrobe is like centered around those boots. So, winner. So this next item is sort of the replacement for that dress that I ruined. It's this skirt and it's kind of in a cargo, like camel khaki-esque color and it's a bit of a wrap skirt so it's got this like um, pleat at the front, not pleat, it's got the split that goes literally all the way to the top but it does fold over a bit like a kilt but not. And then it's got an elasticated waistband to the back and it's got this kind of um, belt thing which I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's a really nice thick material so um, it will keep me nice and warm. It's also got pockets which <gasps> when a skirt or a dress has pockets I'm just like yes Thank you. <laughs> Again, I got this in a size 00, zero which is that weird size that no one knows what it is. And I bought it for £295 as well. Um, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So um, again, let's style it up and see what it looks like. 
So this is the Club Monaco skirt that I have teamed with the Comme des Garçons shirt, which is kind of why I bought the skirt because I thought it would go quite nicely. Um, love, love, love this skirt. I When I tried it on in the shop, I was like, yes, perfect. So much longer than I would normally wear. This is definitely like a sort of mid midi skirt style and I don't think I've ever bought a midi skirt in my life. I don't think I have. But anyway, love it, love the colours, love the way it goes with the little red heart and I like the little ruching at the back as well. It's got this little ruching here. I've popped it with Chloe boots and also my Louis bag which I just think really complement the earthy tones and yeah, just very, very excited to wear this one. Then I guess I better talk about the new jumpsuit that I bought which I think is quite possibly the best jumpsuit I have ever, ever bought. <laughs> Bold statement, I know, because I've worn the other one to death. And initially I was like, I do not need another dark jumpsuit. Like, I've got one, it's fine. And then when I put this on, I was like, oh my God, it's beautiful. It is floor length. And again, it's very tight around here. It cinches, I think that's the right word, cinches you in at your, your waist. And then it's a lot fuller to your legs and it's very sort of wide legged. Again, this is in size zero zero and I believe, I can't actually see because I've got it on. Um, the label is still in it but um, I think it was around 400 pounds, which is a lot for a jumpsuit. But for me, when I put something on and I'm instantly like, yes, I know how much I'm gonna wear it. And the really great thing about this jumpsuit is the fact that the legs actually skim the floor. They don't touch the floor, they skim it. So the moment that you put on a pair of shoes, they'll just be sitting just off the floor. So you can wear flat shoes with this jumpsuit. No one will be able to see them you'll be comfortable but you still look tall. So let's pop this one on exactly how I intend to wear it and I'll talk you through exactly what I love so much about this jumpsuit and what made me spend that little bit extra on it. So this is the new jumpsuit and yes, I'm wearing it the same way that I wore the other one in the other haul, but for the moment it's not very cold outside so I definitely think that this is the right kind of layering to go underneath it. Possibly a shirt or something like that. I think because this is tailored, I would wear it with my uh, Louis Vuitton Capucines bag, which is in the BB size. And I actually think I would probably wear flat shoes with it as well. To introduce a little bit of detail, I could possibly wrap my new scarf around the handle. I've just done that a little bit roughly, just tied it around there easily, just to show you how it adds a little bit of something to the outfit so it makes it not quite as monochrome. The little gold detailing adds in a nice little pop of colour. It makes you look super tall and it's just so flattering on your figure. So I'm really glad that I bought another jumpsuit and I'm definitely keeping this, it's amazing. <laughs> and then finally from Club Monaco, I actually bought myself a pair of kind of tailored wide leg cropped trousers. I guess you can call these culottes, but I think that they're a little bit longer or possibly that's exactly what they are. They're not maybe as flowy as I would imagine culottes to be, but these are a little bit more tailored, a little bit more structured. It kind of cuts you off like above your ankle, which shows obviously the slimmest part of your leg. So then with heels or just kind of short heels, it looks really, really beautiful. Again, in a size zero, zero, that strange Club Monaco size. And these were 180 pounds. So these were the um, cheapest item in everything that I bought from there. But it was time to sort of test the water in terms of these trousers. So yeah, let's pop them on. I've just popped on the tailored culottes from Club Monaco with a old sort of ASOS top that I got. I think this is like, Vera Moda or something. I got it ages ago. It was in one of my old hauls. So I doubt I'll be able to find the exact one, but I will link something similar below because that's all I can find. Um, I've popped it also again with my Chloe boots, but these look very, very beautiful with like pointed stiletto shoes. Look so stunning. Um, but for more everyday use, I would stick this with my Chloe boots again. They're such a great style. They're such a great size. I am so happy with them. But again, really, really happy with these and really happy with the quality and just over the moon with how they look. So that is everything from Club Monaco. Now let's have a look at what I bought from Farfetch. Now I actually bought these items using a couple of vouchers that I had knocking around. I've literally had them knocking around for months and I hadn't spent them. So I used them and a lot of my own money to get these items. This is the Comme de Garçon play shirt, which I'd wanted for ages and it arrived all the way from Canada. And I've still not worn it yet because I'd actually been looking for the right items, which I think I found in this haul to pop it with. I got this in a size small because that was the smallest size that I could see available on the website. It was about 225 pounds, I believe. Obviously it will be linked down below as well. It's quite a fitted shirt and it feels really nice. The material is very, very soft. And then it's got this applique little heart here, which I think will look nice against 
sort of quite earthy tone. I think that the cargo skirt which I bought from Club Monaco is going to look beautiful with this. So I think that's what I'll be trying on first. So on that note, let's try it on and see if it does actually work with that skirt. So this is the Comme de Garçon shirt that I've wanted for a very, very long time. This is the first time that I'm trying it on and I have paired it with the Club Monaco skirt that I said I thought it would go quite nicely with. And I'm really happy with how it looks. This is exactly the kind of outfit that I wanted. On my feet, I've actually popped on some Chloe boots, which I bought these randomly like last year and I wear them so much and whenever I wear them, people always ask me where they're from. For my bag, I've gone for a plain Louis Vuitton handbag, no scarves or anything. Um, I just thought this looked quite nice with it and this bag just goes with so much. So this is probably the bag that you'll see the most. I am very, very happy with how this look has turned out. The next item that I bought is this bracelet and this bracelet is from Bulgari. I think that that's what you guys are trying to tell me is how it's pronounced. I just always said that it was Bulgari and um, when I spoke to people, when I was getting those comments, I was like, what do you call it? Everyone else was like, oh, I call it Bulgari. So they put the emphasis on the A. It's, I guess it's just one of those things. You know, I'm only human. I don't sit here and research things. I actually just buy the things that I like and then you guys tell me how you say it. So <laughs> I'm learning that way. But I don't usually buy jewelry. I'm not a big jewelry person, but I am obsessed with the Serpenty Forever collection. And when I saw these wrap bracelets with the two serpent heads I was like that looked really pretty next to the bag. This was about £200 and it was one size I think as well and um, I just think it's a cute little accessory but yeah I thought it would look nice with an all black outfit with the bag and then this little sort of detail to your wrist as well. So yeah I'm not going to really like style this up but I'll show you it close up and then I'll be wearing it with the other outfits as well. And this item is my Stella McCartney Bryce coat. Now, I think this has become a bit of a classic style for Stella McCartney. She's released it in so many different colors and literally you can get it in different colors, different patterns. I had wanted this coat for so long. I think the first place that I saw it was net porte and um, they didn't have it in my size. And then when I saw it on Farfetch, I was like, Oh my gosh, they've got it. Oh. So Ali had the 10% off code that you can use when you buy first time. So I utilized that on this coat, <laughs> which is nice. It was a nice little helpful thing. I like it when you can get 10% off places. It's very nice. I am very excited to have this in my possession and I'm very excited for it to get cold enough for me to wear it. Yesterday it wasn't that cold and I had like tights on <laughs> and I was sweating. I had to take them off and put them in my bag. So yeah, it's not quite cold enough for this just yet, but I'm excited for it to be. I can't actually remember the size that I got this in. I think I got it in a six, but it does also come in a four. And this is the most expensive item in the haul, and this was about 900 pounds, which I think that these were actually put up in price because I remember them being 600 pounds, and then this season they're like 900. So yeah, I was a bit confused by that. But still, it's an expensive coat, but I've wanted it for a very long time, so yeah. I literally can't get my head around how much I love this coat. It's so snuggly and warm. I find that this coat is definitely like more of a day coat. It can be teamed with office wear, but I wouldn't necessarily wear this at night for like special occasions. This is definitely like my day coat. You can also cinch in at the waist if you want to with just like a wrap belt or something like that. But I kind of just pop this coat on and let it do its thing. I like to uh, push up the arms as well because I feel like I just feel more comfortable like that really. I quite like it. I like it with stripes as well. I think it looks really nice with this striped top. I've teamed it with this top from Me and M, which if you haven't heard of Me and M, I will link it with everything in this video in the description bar below. I've then also popped it with these faux leather trousers from Zara and some last season Saint Laurent boots, which I wore to death last season and I will wear so much more this season. For my bag with this, I've gone with the Louis Vuitton Capucines again, because I'm wearing this a lot at the moment, not with hairs on it. <laughs> I do possibly think I could have gone down a size in this coat, but um, I do want to put chunky knitwear underneath it. So possibly I think that this will allow me to do that. Very happy. So happy that I finally got it. And then finally, I picked up another item from Bulgari. <laughs> it's just this little scarf, which you guys will know that I wear my Gucci scarf a lot. But this is a slightly smaller one, so you can actually tie this in your hair. It's a lot easier to tie around handbags as well. My Gucci one, I had to kind of like wrap it round. But you can't wear this one round your waist like I do with the Gucci one. And this was about 200 pounds as well. Um, and I just really like the design of it. It's also got this little pendant at the end as well. 
and yeah this was just a little accessory that I thought I would get quite a bit of wear out of seeing as I've got so much wear out of my Gucci one as well and I just liked the design of it and I'm just loving Bulgari stuff at the moment I just want to say Bulgari so badly <laughs> But that is your lot, that is everything in this haul and I hope you've enjoyed this. I know that some of you have been asking me for more ASOS hauls and ASOS hauls are something that I love doing, I love, love, love doing ASOS hauls, but I can't buy from ASOS if there isn't anything that I like and I'm certainly not just going to buy stuff for the sake of it because you guys aren't stupid and you know when I don't like stuff, like you knew about the Saint Laurent handbag, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure an ASOS haul will be coming soon, but until that point, I'm just going to keep showing you the stuff that I love. And I hope that you guys love it too. But if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for two videos a week, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!